Oh, that's true. Yeah. What are we fighting? Are we fighting MiG-23s or are we fighting MiG-29s? Because that's going to be the, the big determination the there. The, well, we're fighting Russians in 2015. So. Okay. So, SC-30s? Uh, S-C-57s. I'm going to keep the R-2070 R's then. Uh, yep. That's going to be uh, probably useful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then basically... There's going to be a massive AAA threat, so everyone who's flying a strike flight should do one pass haul ass kind of situations. Nice. And I feel really bad for the number four slot of every flight because that suit's going to get absolutely shredded mm -hmm. by AAA. <laughs> oh, there was this guy talking about like some morbid humor in his flight, and like a, I think it was like an F 105 Thunder, Thunder Chad flight or whatever. Thunder Chad. Yeah. Thunder, yeah, you know, I forgot the name. Um, but they were all, like, flying to the target area, and it's, like, every flight ahead of them would report, like, the number three guy getting shot down by something. Uh. And, uh, and then, like, so, like, you know, the flight behind him checked in, and it just, and they just go, like, you know, num the number three guy just says over the radio, number three is now number five. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna very, like morbid humor. Like I'm just going over here. I'm just gonna eject now, guys. Just to just to save yeah. <laughs> save everybody's trouble. Should I just well, lift my least bombs? It's the number four guy. It's just like uh, on the infantry side when how you check if uh, you know a chemical agent's dispersed. You find the lowest ranking guy and tell him to take off his gas mask. Jeez. Oh my god. I'm wondering. Should I just loft my bombs in that case? Oh. I mean, when it comes to weapon, honestly, when it comes to weapon spacing, it really depends on the geometry of the target. Is how I decide. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. thinking about <laughs> the geometry of the target is airport ramps for the F-16. So, uh... so I was doing some practice bombing some airport ramps, and uh, it seemed that a spacing of about 200 feet was like perfect. Are you doing that in pairs or one after each other? In singles. Okay. Um, question. Shoot and scoot. Uh, yeah, I mean, because, yeah, I mean, it's just like a string of how long to match the length of the target area, you know? Yeah. Okay, did Is we pick up any new folks? No pop up, burn. I'm not sure. Is he an LO? Oh, LO is he's here? not going to make it. Okay. Who's not going to make it? Prince. Prince. Old Shooter 9 1, number 4. Awesome. Oh, so uh, it's like, uh, Joker Nomad 3 and dropped out, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. She's, uh, flying, uh, MiG-21. Oh, man, oh. I was looking forward. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I meant, I guess, Binder dropped out, too. We knew that. Yeah. Well, oh, I... so I lost my whole flight, huh? Who's that? Bumble. Bumble? No, uh, is there Wait, anyone? Is there uh, anyone here who does not have a jet to fly? Anyone? Okay. Um, yes. Well, we only we only get two slicks. That's it. <laughs> yes. No. No. You get all yeah, six slicks. Yeah, I know because it used to say GB, but we fixed that. Yep. Um. All right. So let's start moving folks around here, so that way we can get everything that we need. Is Jelp the legend here? I guess not. All right. I guess he's just a legend. <laughs> he is just. <laughs> I can't believe all of my seed people didn't show up. This is... hey, I showed up. I'm gonna guess we should just have Tao come with uh, Vegas flight instead of. Oh yeah, just uh, on this. Floor. Yeah. Um, this is hello. I don't mind hopping in a seed jet because I, I was also kind of don't on... mind. Yeah, I was kind of counting on GBO 10s because I'm not good with Mark 82s. I mean, you can okay. combine me with one of the other seed flights. Hey, Bumble, so, yeah, if he's already planning on leading the one flight, oh, you can just yeah. shoot on up to <laughs> yeah, the pistol. Bumble box. A si silent sword is not here, correct? I guess not. He's very sword. silent. He's okay. <laughs> we don't know. He's silent. Can I ask why we don't have any uh, F86 slots? I feel like that's an oversight. F86 slots? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, uh, where are, where are the Spitfires? The where are, are the Spitfires? The most, it is the most calming experience. No RWR, nothing to worry about. 
Where where are the mosquitoes? Where are the mosquitoes? Uh, yeah, if you fly this here, it's made out of wood, so Sam can't track you. Um, right. Everybody knows that out of gentlemanly uh, sportingness, they won't fire a missile at you because you don't have flares. Uh, okay, so one... Oh my gosh, this mission... Uh, okay, so for drifter flight, is anyone in drifter flight um, able to fly seed? Yes, I both can do it. If you need it. Okay. Um, how about... Uh, hey, Spud. Can... Yep. Uh, Yeti's here. I, I can uh, fly in that flight for the seed. Okay, so Yeti, you're here. What um, what jet do you, do you fly? F-16 would work. Okay, so we'll put you into an F-16 slot for seed. Um, Yeti, can you lead a flight, or do you want to be a, like a dash 3 or dash 4? I prefer to be a dash three or four, but if, if needed, okay. I can move. Well, we'll put you here. Yeti is there. Uh, all right. This is kind of weird to have so many three three ship flights. And then um, <laughs> the maintenance guys in Turkey kept failing everybody, so that the dash four of every flight is like, oh man, my jet's broken. Um, yeah, no, they're all bent. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sand Sandman, can you fly seed? Sorry, was that to me? Yeah, for Sandman, can you fly seed? It's not very my not my strength. I would, but okay. Honestly, you're better off getting somebody who's better at it. Okay. So, let's bombing. I'm good at though. Let's do this. Um. Saker, do you want to hop into um, pistol? Pistol, yeah, and lead pistol, and then I can potentially. Oh hit. man, I took my orange Please. color with me. How Divid dare you? you. Seed? Who? Divot and Iron Hand. Um, oh, he's here. Where's Divot? Oh, he's. Oh, if they're flying the F5. I... You can probably just combine Night Rage and Tau into there, take our spots. Is Night Rage here? Nope. Nope, he's not here. Okay. So, we'll delete Night Rage. Five. Why don't I take... Can I take... Uh, Divot and Iron Hand can both fly seed? Uh, Iron Hand can. I know Divot can. We fly together. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I will take you two, and we'll put you into a seed. I, I can also fly a uh, MiG-29 if you need it. More. Who's that? Tatao. Okay. Um, I, I think mean, that's what you need. <clears throat> I think we're good there. Um, All right. And Ryfly, I, I think you're new here. Do you have a uh, mission-ready pilot tag yet? No. I okay. don't know what that is. All right. Basically, it's just it's a it's a tag that I can I can mm -hmm. hit to make sure that you get advanced. Got it. Oh, you got it already. Cool. It's basically just it gives you advanced notice of of mission signups, so that way you can get a slot that you want. Uh, nice. I don't know yeah. if that. Who yeah, doesn't how, have that? How do we go? Up one, two, three. This is my first one. I've <laughs> not been able to do the other ones. This is my first one that I'm excited for. Thank you. Uh, uh, I got Dorado. 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 Who else a... needed one? Okay, Dorado has a jet. He's flying in pistol. Cool. Who um, else needed one? Do, do, do. Who I... else needed mission ready? Was it? I'm going Damn. to. I'm going to go ahead and take. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the wonton. Do you mind if I move everybody down a slot for gunslinger, and then I'll lead gunslinger flight. And then um, we'll have the F-16 flights, strike flights, be two ships, and that'll that'll work out because the the seed is important. <laughs> yeah, I'm done for order. We're moving. Are we moving? Yeah, I'm done for order. Into uh, the biggest by three. Yes. Give me one second. Let me, let, let me just make sure I'm the one moving people around, just to make sure that we're good. Three ship F-5 flight. Let's go. 
And then what we'll do I, here... Yeah, we, got, we got P5s, man. We got the good stuff. Yeah, I know. SA-10. Yep, there is an SA-10 in this mission. That's why seed is important. Jesus Christ. We That's an understatement. On the SA-10. So what I'll do Does is the I'll put who are on the F5 even recognize SA10. I'll put Sedlo and Stickman into the Nomad flight, and then um... hey, Dutch, look at that. We can only read okay. tracking radars and scanning individually. Okay, so we've got uh, a three ship in Nomad now. We've got a two ship in Drifter, a two ship in Yankee, and then now we have our seed flights filled out because that is going to be important um so do 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 we've got pistol seed and gunslinger okay sa 10 seed is good and then we've got a three ship of migs and a three ship of migs that's fine the tau going into the three ship of f5s why did nobody show up yeah. man um and then again, just to make sure I've got everybody. Everybody has a jet that is here that wants to fly, right? Okay. Uh, I may be the only one that's a uh, basher boy here. I just hopped into the voice channel a couple minutes late. Okay. Do you want to fly? And what jet can you fly? Uh, I would like to fly the F-16. Fantastic. Now we get a four ship flight for strike. Cool. So you're going to be dash four in Nomad 5-1 flight, okay? Um, what is your name again? Uh, Basher Boy. Basher Boy? Yep. Fantastic. And y have you flown in multiplayer before? You know how to use SRS and all that good stuff? Yeah, I'm familiar with all that. Used it all. Fantastic. Um, all right. Question for a friend. Does anyone in pistol flight know how to use Hackan in the F-16? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just you know do we do a, we not have data link there's a ded page for it yeah yeah it's pretty easy say it, oh, it's okay. really straightforward yeah it's it's easier than the f-18 and imo there's one there's the only there's the one only downside is you have to like you know the the, the display is your Look down your constantly is down between your knees yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I'm there's, used to being there's down another, there. Uh, that's <laughs> why the, uh, <laughs> that's hey, guys, why the this is, hey guys, I've got important info here. Hey, so okay. there's another catch with the TACAN and the F-16. Your data link needs to be turned on to use it. I don't have anything like that. Okay, yeah. so, but that's the switches on the right by the... Yeah, which INS, should right? all be yeah. on anyway. And okay. mids okay. to uh, well, make it? sure your mids radio is on. That explains okay. a lot. 16 doesn't have mids, does it? Oh, you mean the mids LBT? I'm thinking I'm thinking the mids. Everybody, let's go ahead and get started with the mission briefing. That way we can get into the mission and start the flight. Um, like uh, like always, we're going to go ahead and save questions and or concerns to the end of the mission briefing here. So this mission takes place as kind of a what if scenario if turkey and keep in mind this is prior to their kind of turn to the dark side of worshiping the russians after the failed coup attempt um so this is essentially in retaliation for all of the tons of russian incursions that were happening into turkish airspace and into turkish territory by the russians in 2015. this is supposed to happen kind of slightly after the uh, Turkish F-16 shot down the Su-24 Fencer. And so it's basically Turkey wanting to strike the Russians at Latakia and Basal al-Assad in order to kind of say, hey, Russia, like, our territorial integrity matters. Like, you know, respect our sovereignty. Um, and so uh, basically, we've got... Uh, that's basically the situation that's going on today. If you want to move to the objective slash ROE knee board, We'll take a look at objectives for the flights. So some intelligence that is worthwhile to note, the Russian air defense batteries at Latakia and at Basal al-Assad are changing from S-300 to S-400, leaving a gap in high-end SAM coverage, with Elant showing only one S-300 battery active at the moment. Russian Air Force pilots are have very low training hours and lead to less competency in IMC slash IFR flying, 
and most Russian tactical fighters are going to be grounded today due to the fact that there is a storm over um, the coast of Lebanon and the western coast of Syria. Um, in order to fill in the gap of the high-end SAM coverage, the SADF has moved in numerous legacy SAM systems into the area and tons of AAA batteries into the area to help uh, protect Latakia and Basal al-Assad as the Russians set up their new uh, SAM systems in the area. Um, so we've got a number of different flights today. So Gunslinger flight, which I'm now looting, leading, and Shooter 9-1 flight. Our main job is to suppress the SA-10 slash S-300 battery at Basal al-Assad Air Base. Um, with pistol 6-1 coming from the coastal area to engage any Syrian Air Defense Forces SAM systems in the vicinity of Latakia and Basal al-Assad that are not uh, SA-10 batteries. So looking for things like SA-2s, SA-3s, SA-6s, you know, kind of those older type SAM systems that uh, don't have to worry about quite as much. Um, Nomad 5-1 and Drifter 3-1 strike flight are going to attack and destroy Russian aircraft on the ground at Basal al-Assad, prioritizing bombers, then fighters, then helicopters, and transports. So if we can hit those bombers and fighters on the ground, that is definitely going to send a strong message to the Russians to say, hey, stay out of Syria. Or stay out of uh, Turkey, that is. The F-5 strike flight. Um, you guys are going to be attacking and destroying any rushing ship Russian shipping in and around the port city of Latakia. Um, Yankee 4-1 flight will be attacking and destroying the SA-10 slash S-300 launchers um, and search radars at Balas Basal al-Assad Air Base. So hopefully our harms will get in there, you know, we'll saturate the system, take out a tracking radar, and then allow you guys to fly in there and drop your bombs on the launchers themselves. Uh, Panama 7-1 flight is going to attack and destroy legacy SAM launchers in and around the port city of Latakia. Um, with uh, the fuel concerns of the MiGs, I'm thinking that maybe we want to have uh, the MiGs take off last, and so that way they are just cruising to and passing the Marshall points rather than uh, orbiting for a long time. And hopefully that will help reduce some of the range concerns of those MiG pilots. But we'll, we'll, come, we'll come to that in a, in a moment as well. Uh, SAM types. Uh, basically, because not everyone has updated knee boards that has the SA-5 on there, um, we've got the RWR threat library for the square pair and the tin shield, as well as the harm codes. Um, Elint has not shown any um, actual SA-5s up and running in the Latakia slash Basal Assad area. However, um, the SA-DF uh, could pop up one if, uh, you know, the situation warranted or there was, uh, you know, if somebody strays too far south or too far to the east, they could run into any other uh, Syrian Air Defense Forces batteries that may or may not have SA-5s on them. So just uh, so something to keep you guys updated there. Uh, intelligence, we kind of already went over that. This um, knee board uh, on the right there with the RWR threats and harm codes, um, it's technically for the F-18, but it's a, it's kind of the best organized um, actual RWR threat table that I've found. And so I also put this into the mission, so that's going to be there to help you guys as well. Yeah, the harm codes all work, so they're it's the same ones. Yep, for sure. Um, and then moving over to the frequencies slash navigation and weather kneeboard, we've got our uh, comms for the different flights for the um, for the MiG-21 flight. So that way you guys can talk on both strike and on um, and have an inner flight frequency. Go ahead and use your SRS virtual radios. So to do that, open up the SRS. Uh, overlay and that way you can actually adjust your radio frequencies on that overlay um, and that way you guys can uh, you know have multiple radios to be able to talk to both the strike frequency and the GCI as well as talk uh, intraflight within your flight itself does that make sense for everybody who's flying MIGs affirmative for the F5s as well 
Yes, and F5s as well. Um, so for the F5s, for the MiG, MiG-21s, your internal radio will be your intraflight, and then your um, your SRS uh, virtual radio will be for the strike. For the MiG-29s, you have virtual radios for both intra and strike. And then for the F5s, you have um, an intraflight um, on your one radio that you have in the aircraft, and then your virtual radio for the strike frequency. Um, for the F-16s, comms are pretty darn normal. Um, for the tankers, the tankers, I messed up here in terms of the knee board. I meant to delete Texaco 1-1 and Texaco 2-1. So those two tankers are not relevant. Arco 1-1 is a KC-135. So because everyone who can air-to-air -air refuel needs a... Uh, needs a probe and, uh, not sorry, it needs a boom and receptacle. So that's my oversight on the board there. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but the three tankers that are available are all KC-135s, their frequencies, and their TAC hands all match up there. Navigation, pretty simple. We've just got seven waypoints, with waypoint one being a navigation point, waypoint two being the marshal point, waypoint three being the IP point, Four being your primary targets for you guys who are uh, attacking ground targets and whatnot, which is most of most everybody, I suppose. All of your waypoints are on top of your primary target. So if you're attacking the airbase, your waypoint four is on top of the airbase, and so on and so forth. Especially for the seed flights, who are going to be lofting harms up there. All of your um, targets are mapped out um, for firing those harms. Um, TACANs, the only TACANs that are available on the Syria map are 107 X-Ray for Accra Tiri over in Cyprus and 21 X-Ray for in Sirlik. So, um, you know, if you get lost in the clouds and your INS goes bork, then you can just pop in 21 X-Ray and fly home to in Sirlik or divert to in Sirlik if needed. Uh, weather, it, time is 0520 local. Wind is 255 at 10, altimeter 30.06. Temperature dew point spread is 25 degrees Celsius and the dew point of 12 degrees Celsius, giving us a cloud, uh, a theoretical cloud layer of about 8,000 feet with air met tango in effect, so expect turbulence. Sky condition is at least above the uh, weather reporting stations at our air bases is overcast at 9,000, broken at 10,000, with uh, mist and rain. Visibility is about, ten st uh, about five statute miles or so. Alternates for the aircraft is especially relevant to the MiGs due to your fuel. Um, Hatay International Airport, just over the border from Syria into Turkey, is a very good option. It is paved. Of course, uh, if you're from in you're flying from Inserlik and you can't make it back to Inserlik, uh, Gaziantep Air Base is also a good option. And Sirlik Air Base, of course, another option if you're taking off from, say, Gaziantep. And then uh, Larna Lar Larnaca <laughs> International Airport over in Cyprus is a emergency uh, spot that uh, obviously Turkish jets landing in Cyprus would cause an international incident. So try to avoid that if you can. Marshall altitudes will be assigned by ATC. Um, for uh, Wiki, obviously, the F-16s, for whatever reason, in DC sometimes can't climb all that high. But uh, we'll, we'll hopefully work with it to try and get aircraft marshalling, you know, not in a cloud deck. So that'll... It's all about pilotage, honestly, but we'll yeah. we'll set the, the marshal altitudes lower than last time. Sounds good. Like waypoints. <laughs> um, rise up. Uh, threats that you'll probably encounter are going to be Russian S-300, uh, Syrian Air Defense Forces AAA, Syrian SA-6s, and Syrian SA-8. Um, Air-based threats, things that we could pop up on us, are potentially SC-30s, Su-27s, MiG-29s, and MiG-25s. Um, push order is going to be the S-300 seed flights, followed by Fighter Suite and the other seed flight, and finally the strike flights. For radio procedures, um, essentially, just make sure that uh, you're making good radio calls. You're saying who you are, who you're talking to, where, where you are, and what you need. Um, if you're talking to ATC, 
If you're talking to Stripe, just make sure we're keeping um, the comms as clear as possible. Ensure that uh, the 305.00 Stripe frequency is reserved for flight leads and the GCI themselves, rather than uh, getting that uh, frequency all junked up by, say, wingmen, you know, dash twos, threes, and fours, uh, talking too much on that frequency. Of course, if you are a dash two, three, or four, and you need assistance, navigation assistance, you need help because you're engaged with a MIG or something of that nature, um, feel free to talk on the strike frequency. We just want to try to avoid it and keep that frequency as clear as possible to allow for good um, GCI from our, um, our AWACS. Um, for Wiki, uh, the AWACSs are a lot, lot closer to the... Um, to the actual target areas, so you should be able to have more radar coverage of the area for this mission. Okay, any questions and or concerns from uh, anyone? Question, Skipper. Yeah. Um, no frequency on the on the freak knee board for shooter flight. Do you want us to coordinate with Gunslinger on one two seven? Uh, since we're both assigned to uh, suppress the SA ten. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that is an oversight from my perspective of making the actual knee board itself. So um, yeah, come up on 127, and if we need you to go to a different frequency, then we'll work from there. Sound good? That works. I mean, if we have to, we can push off to like dot .5 or one something. 1275, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, from Sedlo? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the two Viper strikes are on the same attack frequency as well. Do you want to stay there or split them up? Viper, they are. We've got 125. 125, 125. Yep, you're right. Um, well, yeah, we can. Uh, you can uh, come up on those frequencies and then split from there if uh, you need to. But uh, just for the sake of um, simplicity when starting up, just check in on those frequencies and then split people off um, because those frequencies are already listed in the knee board in the mission. Okay. Um, as well as, do we have Fractal here? Yes. Fractal, um, what, uh, can you do ATC at both air bases or just at, um, uh, Gazi and Tep? Uh, depending on how sporting the weather is, I'd prefer not to run approach on two different airports, but, um, we'll see. Good point. So, uh, Wiki, just to kind of keep you occupied while you're waiting for people to get onto the strike frequency. If you would just want to be tower at like in Surlick, that would be perfect. Sure, I can handle that. Awesome. Um, Spike. Yeah. Y yeah. Yankee flight question. Uh you have two X Mark eighty twos. Is that left over from the, the GBU tens? Should we have six? Yeah, you you do have six on your jet. I just fixed that for you. Yeah, thanks. Um and uh keep in mind guys that when you are starting up your aircraft Bring, if you're in an F-16, bring COM-1 to your tower frequency and then COM-2 to your intra-flight frequency. And that's split up by the fact that you've got VUHF and UHF frequencies to work with. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier in the F-16 to keep that straight. So don't check in on strike. When you first start up, check in on the tower frequency and then, of course, on your intra-COM frequency. Um, any quest other questions or concerns for this flight? Yes. I have a, I have a, I have a one minute AWACS brief, but it can go last. Okay. Uh, uh, Cora? Real quick one for the MiG 21s. Obviously, we don't really see, um, you know, we, we obviously can't pull up waypoints. Um, would it be sufficient for us to use Hate's RSBN and then down to Basel uh, Assad? Um, would that be a yeah. good routing? That would probably be a good routing, and then um, maybe the, the AWACS can probably give you guys um, vectors to the target area, um, as well as you can always use, it's kind of cheating, but you can always use the um, knee board to see your waypoints as well. Okay. Um, That's cool. not cheating. And then, um, all right, so uh, Wiki, go I, ahead with the GCI. I, I, uh, I have a question if I yeah. could interject real quick. Uh, yeah. You you said you wanted uh, two threes and fours to kind of stay off the of strike. Do you want us still calling in when we're doing any launches of anything? Still calling out launches on strike, or keep that to flight freaks? Yeah, I would like I would like for you to call launches on strike. Okay. Yeah, that would be helpful. So Fox twos, Fox threes, Fox one. 
uh, you know, um, Magnum, Magnum shots. Calls. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, um, that said, caveat, do not talk over people to do that. Yep. Um, yep, that tends to be, it, it's a little bit more difficult with SRS in terms of like talking over people. Um, what I recommend is turning on your the radio ticks for both, um, you know, your radio ticks. So that way you get a tick when people start um, to actually talk on those frequencies. So that way you know, oh, geez, someone's about to talk rather than, you know, not queuing up your, your own radio right as someone else is about to talk. It, it, it's harder on SRS than on real radios. Um, and I think that also because the radio, you know, we can reduce the volume and make it sound really nice and really, really, you know, not grating on the ears in SRS. But, you know, just try to make sure that we're not talking over people, and not stepping on people. And I know that I'm just as, you know, guilty of that as well. And I'll try to try to shut up more of this mission. So, um, you know, just try our best. You know, it's all going to go to shit once the missiles start flying anyway. So it's all good. And that's what happens in real life, too. <laughs> We're all uh, human. Quick question here. Um, the stuff went over in the briefing here. Did you say that's going to be on the knee boards in the mission? Yes. So yep. the, the two gray cards on objectives and ROE knee board and frequencies nav and weather knee board, that is all going to be in your knee board in the mission. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, GCI I, have, I have a question yeah. also okay. about the <laughs> ships in the because you said FRs need to strike ships, Russian yep. ships in the ports. So all those ships are Russian, or there's only uh, specific um, ones? I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that up to you and your discretion as a as for the F5 strike lead or the sorry the F5. We're gonna fight. we're gonna prioritize military ships. If there are no military ships left, um, we're just gonna go after the biggest looking tanker we can find. Sounds so good. it can be some Kuwaiti ship there, and we just bomb it. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna sink the Lusitania and start World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to hard to see the flag on a ship from the F five, but uh, obviously you know uh, try to you know have some kind of discretion on the targets you're hitting, but uh, you know your flight lead will you know kind of help yeah, we'll guide. Work it out. Hopefully. The seed flights do their job, and we'll be able to sit for a second and try and get a look through our binoculars. Yep. <laughs> do our best. Yep. Um, okay, GCI brief. Go for it. Okay, guys. So for those of you who were here last week, it's going to be kind of a similar deal. Uh, for those who weren't, I'm going to hit some of the high points. Um, first of all, don't expect me to give a whole lot of information out uh, without being prompted, because uh, I also want to keep the airwaves clear. Um, I am essentially going to be assuming targeting responsibility for pretty much everybody since the F-16s don't have bullseye vectors on their cursor yet. Um, and also, uh, because I will not be speaking a whole lot without prompting, if you hear me key up on strike, you should probably shut up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if you're having your own conversation on your own frequency, because what I say might be relevant to you. Okay. And that is about it. Again, like if you need information from me, please ask me for picture, ask me for bogey dope. I will give you everything you want to hear from me, but um, I am not going to fill the airwaves. Sounds good. Okay. Um, the, the server is up. SRS is auto connect. Um, the server IP for lot ATC and the server itself are on the sign-up sheet uh, just underneath the the um, GCI sign-up sheet, um, and uh, we should be good to go uh, that, in that way. Uh, quick uh, note: make sure um, to make... go ahead. Uh, make sure to do your call signs, guys. Um, so, like, if you're in, if you're in my flight, you know, Rye Fly should be Vegas five two, and then your name. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, and one Where last thing for pistol quick? flight, I will be recording, so best behavior, please. Yeah. No promises. <laughs> yeah. I make no guarantees. <laughs> uh, yep. Request from the uh, B-29 flight. Uh, if you guys are unsure about what you're shooting at, ask the GCI for a declaration. Just, yep. just, just begging you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, we appreciate the prudence. Yep. It's like uh, where was that uh, IP address again? I'm um, for the server. Uh, they are on the mission signup sheet. So its uh, server is seven five dot six three dot one two one dot five one with the five two four nine port. It's over on the right side on the first page of the lineup card. Yep. Oh, uh, one other note from GCI. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm, um, I'm, yeah, I'm blind. Thank I you. Would, I would prefer for you guys to ask me for picture than for bogey dope, because if you ask me for bogey dope, I'm just going to tell you where the nearest bogey is. If you ask me yep. for picture, I'm going to give you slightly more detailed info than that. Gotcha. Um, the the poor Polish MiG-29 pilots, they're just like, oh man, everybody beats up on us, Poles. <laughs> hey, uh, kind of yeah, stupid pretty question. much everybody. Stupid question real quick. I haven't ever direct connected. I'm entering the number as shown and putting the colon in 5249, but it's not going. Nine. Uh, right. Oh. The server's offline right now, I think. Oh, no, no, it's not. not. Server's up. I'm in it. Yeah, yeah same. Same. In the server list. Yep. Everyone has the DCS open beta. Yep. 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 I mean, we're on the you, stable uh, and open beta are on the same anyways. Two, two, from them. SRS won't connect till the server's unpaused, correct? Yeah, SRS yeah. won't connect yeah. until the server's unpaused. Uh, for more, those yeah. having trouble connecting, try dropping back to the main menu of the game, then back into multiplayer and just searching SPUD and seeing if the server comes up in the list. Yep. It, it did take a while for it to show up, to be honest. Yeah. But it should it should show up because it's uh, it's definitely there. I'm in it. <laughs> hey, yeah. If you guys if you guys need to direct connect, I copied the IP over on the right side of the um the IP listing. Use that number with the the port amended at the end. And that should connect you. Sounds good. Right Is there a password? Yeah, the password's spot all lowercase. Yep. Wait, I'm getting in. Yep, loading. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go grab a snack, I'll be back. Grabbing a snack while we're supposed to be starting up. I have to load. Gotcha. Yeah, actually give me 30 seconds. I to say, in uh, MiG-21s, I think I'm actually gonna not start up initially. Just gonna turn the jet on enough that I can monitor radios and uh, wait until some people have started taking off to start booting up the jet. That's why it one starts up real fast anyhow. It's Oh yeah, exactly. Vegas, it, it's start it's off built to... to be an interceptor that can be flown by unlettered tundra farmers with a minimal of training. Yeah, and <laughs> be in the air in less than five less minutes. Than exactly. The people making it into the server, okay? Uh, Wiki's in uh with flat ATC. Fantastic. That Bumble's is buzzy. The hard one. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, Fractal, I got a couple questions. Thinking. Okay, questions, go. Um, not what I... As for penetration of the IMC, are you guys planning on holding formation or are you going to do um, radar lockup and trail? Uh, it, it's uh, up to the ATC. Um, so they'll they'll give us the instructions there. Um, it's probably best to try and stick to formations, so keeping those formation lights and external lights on. Um, but uh, if the if the IMC gets too thick and it's just terrible, then you know might have to uh, switch to trail uh, formations to get through it. Okay, and then are the uh, are the MIGs ILS capable or just F-16s? The MIGs are not ILS capable, I don't think. I think 29 might be, actually. I don't know. The MIG-29 is, and the MIG-21... I don't know if there's a Risbin station or there a Primix is. station there. If there is, 38. then you guys are set. 38 nice. is the RSPN station, so we should be okay. We can at least get ourselves safely below the cloud deck and then fly a visual approach. Yeah, you should be the able overcast to... overcast layer is at 9,000 feet. It's VFR, guys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> It's, sure. Yeah, via, VFR as far as we're concerned, jeez. Yeah, yeah. So it should be, it should, once you penetrate the cloud deck, you should be fine for a visual. Um, okay, so is that, if everybody's in the mission, I'm going to go ahead and unpause it, and we will get going. Still loading. Oh.
Let's buzz, Hello. baby. Are we hopping off of Discord or just muting Discord? Uh, uh yeah, I'm muting death. I usually just mute and death. Yeah. Okay. That seems to be the standard. That way, when uh, if people die, they can just unmute, undeafen, and start shit talking everyone who let them down. Yep. <laughs> I, I I'm I really hope that our Polish MiG twenty nine pilots do not have to do a lot of shit talking today. As I will as, now fox three a blue plane. <laughs> as one of most more than likely the eldest in the group, I just want to say I'm I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Oh, um, and then one more thing for Wiki. You know, to yep. kind of saturate the S300 better, if you want to separate out the seed flights and get to launches from, you know, individual members of those flights off from different uh, points on the compass and different attack vectors, that could probably help with saturating that S300 a little bit better. Okay. I mean, I would generally leave that sort of thing as a responsibility for the flight leads. Okay. But then that's fine. Um, I will take over that. Um, Spud, you think that uh, Pistol can get away with y using, or at least I can get away with using Harma's sensor? Negative. Not at, for well, no, because we're not, we're shooting at the, uh... Legacy. Oh, Legacy yeah. Stems. And Harma's sensor is probably going to be what you want to go for. Okay, cool, because I haven't done much with the others. Okay, no worries. It's easy to figure out, at worst case. Yeah, I mean, I've lofted them before, but... Oh, right, I'm in. He's he's carrying in his lap in his helmet bag. He's got F-16s for dummies. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm really prepared for using smart he's, weapons on an F-16 today. He's got he's Chuck's guide up as well. Okay, and just a reminder for the yeah. uh, shooter flight guys: we'll check in on one two seven dot zero zero, and we'll hop over to dot five if necessary. Okay, okay, is everyone good to go? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right, we'll go ahead go and ahead. oh. We'll go ahead and unpause, and that way um, we can get uh, everyone else rolling. And then Yeti, once you hop into your flight, um, you know, once you hop into your jet, we'll just get it rolling from there. So I'll Easy go ahead and unpause, and here we go. Request. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Refueling complete. Rearming complete. Shooter 940, you're loud and clear. Gunslinger 22, checking in radio uh, 127. Conservant Tower online.
Just a 3-2 on tail. Yankee 4 1, Yankee 4 2, checking in on 1 2 1. Two root, not on clear. Um, we'll wait until the other F 16 start departing and then we'll request taxi and take off. Perfect, thanks. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm green. Ready, ready and waiting. Yep, same. I don't, just don't want to get pushed too early like last time. We got pushed there with the seed flights and then lost one guy to an SA-5. <laughs> yeah, let's hold off. Thanks. Yeah, so our, our target seems to be a SAM site along the coast. It's two S-300 surrounded by S some other SAs. Let me know if you want to uh, ripple anything off, uh, or drop in, in groups, um, or just try to single single blast them. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to do them in pairs, um, ripple times three, a hundred feet in spacing. I just want to do one run, then get out. Copy. Pairs, uh, ripple three, hundred feet spacing. Is that what you said? Yep, that's correct. And acrylic tower, uh, good morning. Pistol flight, four ship F 16 on the north ramp, uh, ready to taxi for a southbound departure. Pistol 6 1, tower clear to taxi. Clear to taxi. Mm, we'll see if we can do a formation takeoff. Uh, tower will be We're down to 80%, rolling, rolling, go. It's when I say go, right? breaks off after burner. Uh, rotate speed is, I think, 180 knots, and takeoff speed is about 190. Pistol 6 1, tower, affirm, that's runway 23. Right. Sounds good to me. Alright, just uh, don't crash into me. Both nine aim, uh, aim nine <laughs> right. Just a 3 2 ready. Drift to three two on tail. Tower drifter three two. Insulate Tower, Vegas five one. We have a three ship of Vegas flight F fives uh, standing by the taxi. Megas 5-1, tower, copy, uh, we're standing by for now. Vegas 5-1. Look, tower, Yankee fly, flight of 2F-16s at the south ramp, request taxi for eastbound departure. 
Pinky 4 1, Tower, clear to taxi, runway 2 3, southbound departure. Yankee 4 1. Um, we're clear to taxi, so we'll start heading out. Runway 2 3. 2. And so the tower, Drifter 3. Drifter 3, tower. Drifter 3, 1, to ship F16 on parking lot 124. Requesting permission to taxi to active 23. We we'll send no Binger to 3,500 pounds, just so we have enough to get back home and tank to Drifter 3, 1, tower, proceed as requested. Taxi for runway copy. two three for southbound departure. Altimeter is three zero zero six. Drifter three one. And Drifter three one tower. Current winds are two five five ten knots. Drifter three copy all. And Starlick Tower, uh, pistol flight holding short runway T3 at Echo, ready to, for departure. Pistol flight, tower, clear for takeoff, runway 23, winds 255 for 10. Clear for takeoff, runway 23, pistol.
In slick traffic, Vegas 5-1, we're requesting taxi to runway uh, 23. Vegas 5-1, tower, taxi and hold short, runway 23 for southbound departure. Vegas 5-1. Brook Tower, Yankee flight of 2F16 is holding short runway 23 for southbound departure. Yankee 4, Tower, clear for takeoff runway 23, winds 255 at 10. Yankee 4. Lead two, do you mind if I give you five seconds and uh, just take off behind you? Yeah, no worries. We can do that. Into the tower, drift at 3, holding short, 3, 2, 3. Drifter flight, tower, clear for takeoff, runway 2, 3, winds 2, 5, 5 at 10. Drifter 3. Uh, tower, pistol flight, request frequency change. Pistol flight, frequency change approved. See ya. See ya. Tower, Yankee 4 1, also requesting frequency change. Frequency change approved. Yankee 4 1. Yankee 4 1, radio check. Yankee 4 1, Outlaw 555, five, radar contact coming out of Incurlick. Yankee 4 1. And pistol flight checking in 305. We'll try to climb to Angels 15, one, break outlaw, this cloud cover, and hold contact, 350 five, knots. Five, five. Copy Angels 15, Outlaw, Gunslinger 2 1. Bottoms are at 9,000, tops at 11,500. Gunslinger, outlaw copies. Force good. And we'll go to waypoint two. Two.
I have visual of you. Outlaw, Gunslinger 2-1 in flight. Request uh, Marshal Altitude. Gunslinger 2-1. Yeah, I somehow Outlaw. lost you. Marshal Angels 2-3. No worries. Uh, you can rate it off me up. For Gunslinger 2-1 in flight. I'm TL 1 o'clock low. Outlaw, no bad for one, request Marshal. Copy that. Correction, Yankee for one, request Marshal, white level. Yankee, outlaw, stand by. Outlaw, shooter 9 1, uh, request Marshal Altitude. Stand by. Outlaw Nomad with passing eleven five. Still holding 350 knots. Okay, who called? Tra holding 350 knots and at Angels 15. Yeah, shooter's uh, standing by. You wanted a martial altitude, correct? That's firm. Alright, shooter, I want you to go up to Angels 24. Angels 24 for shooter. Outlaw, uh, Yankee 4 1, request martial altitude. Thank you, 4 1. I want you to head up to Angels 2 Tree. Uh, pistol 6 1, Outlaw. I want you to march. We'll climb up to flight level two, Angels 2 3. Thank you, 4 1. 2 3, 2 copies. 2 4 for pistol. Outlaw Nomad 5 flights uh, passing 15,000 request the Marshal and Marshal Altitude. Nomad 5-1, Outlaw, Radar of Contact, Marshal Angels 2-2. Up to Angels 2-2, I'm heading direct to Marshal now, Nomad 5-1. Outlaw, Drifter 3. Drifter 3, Outlaw, stand by. Might try holding 300 knots to save even more fuel. Strike, shooter 9 1 interrogative. Force out. Buddy, buddy, F 16. Last call for outlaw retransmit. Holding oh, 300 no, knots. Drift to 3, Outlaw, Radar Contacts, Marshal Angels 2-3. 300 knots, 2-3, Angels. I'll come up and catch you. Yeah, I got visual. At Angels 2-2, two, two, Drift to. Uh, Outlaw Pistol, which direction do you want us orbiting? Pistol, Outlaw. I would set up with a right hand orbit. We're all gonna do a right hand right orbit. Hand orbit this um, 30 degrees. Actually, no, make that 15. It's too much stress on the wings, it looks like.
Dude, what's your fuel state? Uh, looks like a 11.7-ish. Same. Center flight is at the Marshall as Greg. Outlaw shooter 91 in flight at Marshall as Greg. Outlaw. Strike Vegas flight checking in three ship. Uh, F5 tasked with uh, anti ship strike just took off of insula Kedic set. Vegas flight outlaw, radar contact, wants you to head at heading 216 for 30 and marshal there, Angels 2 1. Strike. Vegas 51 216 for 30. Uh, uh, Marshals at uh, countermeasures, everything just before we start getting pushed. Yep, thanks. Making sure mine's on by the way. Yeah, it's a good idea. What's to get? Block. Nickel 1 1, retransmit. Uh, nickel 1 1 is inbound to Marshall. Pickle 1 1, radar contact, Marshall Angels 2 1. Angels 2 1, Nickel 1 1. Vegas 5 2, uh, 5 1, make sure that you're still on 265 uh, for Interflight Comp. And Nickel 1 1, Outlaw, that's going to be 6,500 meters. Six thousand five hundred. Are your steer points one. working? Mine's not clicking through past one. Um, does the line show up? As in, do you see the other waypoints? Because I could just tell you what waypoint four is in. Yeah, as soon as I get out of this, when we start heading that way, we'll. Uh, I might need to adjust. Yeah, because waypoint four seems to be around top of it, so I might uh, it might be worth just me telling you what the actual coordinates are. Copy that. Just let me know what you want to do. I guess I free chicken in just to freeze over. Last caller, retransmit. Vegas 5 3, checking in, please go for Vegas 5 3, outlaw, radar contact.
potentially I could try and get a lock with the targeting pod and CCRP it, and then you could leave the search off it. Yeah, force good. Wrong com. Panama 7, checking in on strike. Panama 7, outlaw, radar contact, Marshall 7,500 meters. 7,500 meters, Panama 7 1. Yeah, for some reason the rocker's not working, but uh, I entered it manually, just switched it up to four, and it's locked in now. Right, anyway, that's good. Buddy Spike F-16. Nickel What's one, one outlaw, descend 300 meters. Buddy Spike F-16. Okay. I wish we could take CPU 105s or 97s, it'd be so easy. <laughs> Down to 3,000, make a 1 1. Negative, I want you to descend to 6,200. 6,200, make a 1 1. Outlaw, Gunslinger, 2-1. You want to start pushing the seed points? Gunslinger, Outlaw, Affirm. Let's get the seed flights running in as frag. Copy that. Seed flights running in as frag. Yeah, I'm seed flights Pistol pushing right now. I'm going to wait for a uh, while until frag. we push. Copy that. There they go. Good luck, boys. I'll see flights fence in. IFF is on, working, check your SMS, Pistol flight, fence be sure fence XMT 11. is on L16, just be aware of all of that when we go in. Copy. Gunslinger 2-4, fenced in, 11.1. Uh, we can go ahead and drop our center line tank. Strike lead, outlaw, interrogative. Go for strike lead. Force visual. Gunslinger 2-4, wrong comms. Strike lead, outlaw. Is Bullseye at Latakia? Bullseye is Latakia. Thank you. I got scared I dropped my bombs instead. 
Strike nickel one one. Are we cleared to push? Nickel five one strike or er, outlaw. You are cleared to push by your sleep. Nickel one one pushing. Uh, for this attack, do we want to loft our bombs or just go fly right over them and just break right slash left as the situation sees fit? Yeah, I was thinking I'm going to have to CCIP them in. Yeah, with the IMC and all. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. No. Correction. Outlaw, drifter. Drifter, outlaw. That probably means we're going to have Drifter to fly down push it to IP. Yeah, I'm not really keen on that. Drifter, proceed as requested. But the waypoints look accurate Drifter. enough. Yeah, we might get a good spread if we hit that. Outlaw pop up group bullseye zero seven five for twenty four fifteen thousand track north. Yeah, our, our waypoint looks like it's directly in the middle. So that's where the S three hundreds will be. Sweet. So how much is a tenth of the nautic mile? Slinger one one outlaw bra zero. That's like six hundred feet, right? Bra one five zero. That's correct. 15, uh, yeah. High. Uh, 520 feet. Contact Gunslinger 2 1 is committed All right, on then that group. Then 100, we'll oh, so maybe we should put it to 200 feet then for our spacing. 200 changing. Yeah, let's just hope that I'll, we have enough spacing between the both of us that will cover the whole circle. Pistol 6 1, Outlaw, Raw 1 2 2 for 54, 15,000, blank right. All flights Outlaw, second group at Bullseye, track west. Outlaws committing on the bandit. Roger, he's locking me up. Hey, it's time to 29 front, 12 o'clock. Yep. Shoot on 9 2, Magnum. Pistol engaging two ship uh, on the nose. 40 miles over bulls. Okay, one makes dead. Fox three again. Oh, both makes are down, both makes are down. Gunslinger, outlaw, contacts faded. Yeah, right Pistol that. Fox outlaw 3, uh, 1, 3, 3, 1. Let's feel safe now. Nine nine. Okay. Crystal 6 3, Fox 3. Outlaw Yankee 4 1. Uh, when do we start pushing? Yankee 4 1, Outlaw, stand by.
Pistol 6 4, Fox 3. Outlaw, nickel 1 1, request bogey dope. Let me push, we'll go into trail. Nickel 1 1, outlaw, clean. <laughs> Gunslinger 24 Magnum. Gunslinger 21 Magnum SA10. Pistol 61 Outlaw Merge. Outlaw Nickel 1-1, one, one, request picture. Nickel 1-1, one, one, Outlaw, single group. Raw, stand by. Sure. Uh, sure 9-3, Magnum on SA-10. Nickel 1-1, one, one, Outlaw, four, single group. Raw, 257, Magnum SA-10. 25,000, hot. Magnum SA-10. Pistol 6-4, outlaw, snap lock, 0 9 or 5 for 8, at 25,000, cold, hostile. Buddy Spike F-16, Buddy Spike F-16. SA-10 is off the air, SA-10 is off the air. Nickel 1-1, one, one, outlaw, bandit faded. Pistol 6-3, Magnum. Outlaw, Vegas, boy. Go, Vegas. Outlaw Vegas flight, Benston, uh, fuel state uh, 5.0. Uh, we're having a bit of an issue here getting up to Angels 21 with uh, such a heavy loadout. Request a marshal at Angels 1.5. Vegas 5.1, push as fragged, altitude your discretion. Copy. All flights outlaw. If you haven't pushed already, do so now. Thank you for one. Uh, we're gonna start pushing. Just as we pushing, steel four. Twenty seconds. And just two one is much like a two from the east. The Fenton. Much like two six. This will six one three. Fenton. Magnum SA six. Roger that. All wild weasel look for you. Try to keep them online. Pistol 6-4, Magnum, We'll push straight to Bay Point 4. Outlaw, clean. All flights, picture is clean.
SA6 is off the air. Alright, let's push. Pistol lead, pistol lead, check in. Two. Pistol lead. Oh, we're at pistol flight. Your SA-6 is off the air currently. Focus, rest your arms on tactical SAMs, SA-8. Copy, looking. I'm gonna go below the cloud cover so we can get eyes on the targeting pods. Alright, two's in trail. Uh, I'm trying to drop back a little bit further. No worries. <laughs> Outlaw, Nickel 1-1, one, one, request picker. Nickel 1-1, one, one, Outlaw, clean. Pistol 6 Vegas four, Magnum, SA-8. Vegas 5-1, uh, check on 265. I'm just below the cloud cover. Altitude. Altitude. Five thousand feet. Tally. Outlaw pistol lead where Winchester harms, but we're available. Outlaw. Outlaw, Vegas 5 1. Vegas, go for Outlaw. Be advised, Vegas 5 2 uh, is not contacting on SRS and he's lost himself in the clouds. We have no way to contact him. We're going to proceed to Latakia as a two ship, uh, 5 1 and 5 3. Outlaw. Uh, Lee, what's your speed? Are you uh, pushing pretty hard? I'm on mill power right now, 530 knots. Copy. Sam launch, SA-8. Multiple Sam launches. SA-8's on the strike flight. Triple-A, triple-A, triple-A. Coming in to Wild Weasel for you guys a bit. Oh, we got an aircraft down. We got an aircraft hit. Eyes on the SA-8. Uh, triple-A file. Do you see that? Twelve o'clock. 
numerous AAA around the top. No, not yet. I'm a, a little high still. I'm at Angel 7. Are you down below that? Yeah, I'm at Angel's 5.7, 5.8. I might want to CCRP this, because I do not want to get hit by those AAA. Two. SA-8 is down. Roger. Roger, I see it. I'm jinking right. Yankee 4 one I, saw, I have visual of that AAA file. Do we have anything suppressing that? Or... What's the deal? Do you know if that waypoint is uh, on the ground or up in the air? I'm not sure, that's why I'm using my targeting pod to double check. It looks to be in the air. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, okay. Sixty-five feet. The button for locking onto the waypoint is uh, NT or CZ? Outlaw Nomad 5 ones off target. Uh, CZ makes, it counts as zero. Um, just go CCRP damage. mode and then change your steer point and we'll change through them. Um, no, by the no, way, no, change for the steer point, edit it so it's 65 feet elevation. 65. Outlaw uh, shooter Thanks. flight is Dakota, save for fuel and guns. Uh, available for tasking. Shooter flight, say your shotgun. Triple Clarify. A over the top, yeah, triple A, watch out. Shooter flight outlaw, recommend egress north. Do you have Shooter visual of that triple A now? Yeah, outlaw. sure do. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend the CCRP here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give, uh, air cover if needed. Outlaw. Outlaw pistol is RTV. Outlaw. Drift, drift of three is two minutes to target. Yeah, I've got visual of those um, S300s. Uh, going into battle. Gunslinger 2-1. What's the status of the strike flights? Are we cleared to egress? Gunslinger, recommend that seed flights uh, with arms stay on stage. Uh, everyone else can egress once munitions expended. Copy that. We have no arms on board. We are just drawing fire from the black. Gunslinger 2-1 Outlaw, recommend egress. Roger that, egressing to tankers for shooter, or Gunslinger 2-1. Bombs away. Yankee 4-1, ripple bombs, pickle bombs. Alright, I'm 26 seconds off. Panama flight is shotgun and down one aircraft. We are RTB. Outlaw. Pickle. Yep, I'm um, off. To the west, I'm going out back to the ocean and climbing back up to Angels 20. Outlaw, copy heading west, west uh, Angels 20. Outlaw. 
Typically the taking triple A is still from the south. I'm still east. safe. I've got an SA5 spec. Outlaw Yankee 4 1. I've got an SA5 mud spike to my 7 o'clock. Outlaw. Pistol is unable to engage that out of harm's. Uh, SA5 is very far to the south. Recommend heading north for any aircraft spiked by that SA5. An angel's 25 now, sorry. Uh, outlaw Yankee 4 1 is God, Winchester bombs and Just heading to the tanker. I don't think I hit anything. Outlaw. Um, you won't see anything show up on the BDA. It's been disabled. Outlaw Nickel 1 1, are any more flights still committed? Trust of is committed. Gunslinger 2 3, Rocky. 2 3 1, pick up. Nickel Flight, Vegas is still IP inbound. Outlaw Vegas Flight. Go for Outlaw. Outlaw Vegas Flight is 10 miles to target. We are uh, diving down below the cloud layer to run in on the ships in the cloud. Outlaw. Vegas Flight, beware. Numerous AAA around Latakia. Sounds like a challenge, Strike. We'll do, uh, we'll do you proud. <laughs> Uh, outlaw Yankee for one request frequency change to tank frequency. Yankee for outlaw frequency change approved. Yankee for one. I'm gonna head over to 251 for the tanker frequency. Attack on is 12x. Outlaw just the three has uh, accomplished. Alright, I'm gonna head straight back east. Like, I'm not. There's no way I'm gonna tank and this. I, number. I can't figure that one out. No worries. Um, can we make it back together then? I think so. I've got uh, I've got five point five thousand seven hundred pounds. Just All right, I've got the same. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. I'm at Angels twenty five. Copy that. Uh, do you want to head to Waypoint Six? It'll be the lineup for Interlick, or do you want to just uh, head right for the home plate? Uh, let's keep heading, uh, the heading that we're on right now, and then once we're out of the A range, we'll head straight north, I guess. Yep. Pickle tanks. Uh, do you have visual of me? Not yet. You're about uh, five, four and a half miles uh, just north of me here. Okay. No worries. I'll slow down for you.
current, and we'll start heading to waypoint six. Waypoint six, coming. I can tell you that that sound, that strike that we were trying to hit, a lot of stuff there was damaged. So I think we did a good job. Awesome. Good news. Thanks. Got a few tally. Uh, in uh, Sirlik Field, uh, pistol two ship F-16, we're about... Were you getting lit up by the AAA on your way? Stop. No, I, I don't think I ever got hit, but I did see it. Whoa, sorry about that. I did see it uh, flash by my canopy. Yeah, Sam, I, I got visual of you. So I believe we're landing on runway zero, no, runway two three. Tacan is 21. And ILS is 111.700. 
Uh, we'll keep climbing down to 5,000 feet. 5,000, copy. In Carlick Tower, uh, pistol flight to ship F-16. We're about 15 miles on a final for runway to three visual overhead break. Pistol 6-1, in Curlic Tower, online. Hi, does that, uh, does that plan work for you? Yeah, go ahead. We're definitely in a visual landing condition. Copy, pistol. Acrylic Tower, Yankee 41, flight of two F-16s, 38 miles out, inbound runway 23. Yankee 41, Tower, radar contact. Altitude, altitude. And we'll slow down to 300 knots. 30 knots. We'll start turning in to a point five. Two. And let's go down to two thousand feet. Insta look tower, uh, Vegas 5 1. Vegas 5 1, tower. Insta look tower, Vegas 5 1, uh, request a landing at uh, Insta look. Uh, what would be the uh, anticipated runway? Vegas 5 1. Vegas 5-1, tower, uh, expect visual approach, runway 23. Vegas 5-1. In Sterling Tower, uh, pistol, base to final. Vegas 5-1, tower, would you like radar vectors? Uh, tower, Vegas 5-1, uh, that's not necessary, we have attack in. Is that a yes or no? Negative tower. Answer the tower. Drift the three. Drifter 3, tower, radar contact. Drifter 3 is uh, at Angel 26, coming from the east. 30 miles to go, requesting overhead break, runway 23. Drifter 3, tower, proceed as requested. Drifter 3. In Kirlik Tower. Yankee 4 1, flight of 2 F 16, inbound runway 2 3, 20 miles out, request section overhead break. 
Thank you for one tower. Proceed as requested. Yankee for one. Uh, we'll do a section overhead break. Pencilic tower. Left hand break. Request landing on runway two three. All right, I'll follow you. Vegas five one tower cleared for the approach runway two three. Caution traffic on final. Five one. Into the traffic Vegas five one uh, long final for runway two three. It's the traffic, Vegas 5 1, short final runway 2 3. Get visual of the runway yet. Vegas 5 1, tower, clear to land. Negative, I'm watching you. Off to our 9 o'clock, maybe? Our Vegas 5 Wonder Wheels down. Yeah, I'm trying to look. They're bringing so thick. Pistols clear the active edit curl. I've always had a hard time being visual on this airport. Yeah, it's like suddenly it's uh <laughs> Alright, we'll start turning into it. Still hold, trying to hold 300 knots. Two's in. And we'll go down to 800 feet radar. Insulic like Tower, Vegas 5 1, clear the air. 800 radar. Yankee 4 1, caution traffic, go 1 o'clock, 10 miles. Yankee 4 1 has visual of traffic. Yankee 4 1, outlaw, give way to the traffic. Yankee 4 1. In Cirque Tower, Vegas 5 2 uh, declaring emergency. We're very low on fuel. Vegas 5 2 Tower, it's good to hear from you. You're, cl you're clear for the approach, runway 2 Tree in Kerlick. Roger, we're flying over there now. We're not too far, far out. Looks like about 245 from here should put us on the corner of the runway. Yep, I two, got that too. Three miles. Correction, nine miles out from the east. Oh, the ILS approach is great right now. It's perfectly lined up. <laughs> yep. Too bad we have to do an overhead.
Drifter 3, tower, clear to land, runway 23, winds 255 at 10. Crew test fleet. Alright, I have visual. Oops, sorry, copy. Oh, no, Yankee Phil 1, do you want us to proceed with a section of head break? Yankee 4 1, uh, tower, you're clear for the overhead. Yankee 4 1. Drop the three, base, gear down, full stop. In search traffic, uh, Vegas 5-2 has uh, the runway in sight. Are we clear? Vegas 5-2, you're clear for the straight end. Runway 2-3. Roger, 2-3 clear, straight end. Drifter 3 has visual two landing craft and Drifter 3 is short final 3 greens. One way 2 3. Alright, breaking. Copy. Choosing the break. Vegas Good five time. two, you're clear to land after Drifter three one currently on the runway. Roger. Yankee four one, caution traffic on final emergency. Yankee for one copies will extend. We we're gonna extend out a little bit longer. There's an emergency flight inbound. Yep, I'm monitoring as well. Thanks. Yeah, let's put the gear back out. We'll go around again. And Yankee 4-2, extend your downwind emergency traffic on final. Yankee 4 and copies, we'll do another Altitude. overhead break. Alright, we're gonna turn again. Shooter 94 Tower. Cross the free vacated by Alpha. Outlaw Yankee 4 1, are we cleared to land now or is there still that emergency flight to land? Yankee 4 1, tower, clear for the overhead, runway 23. Yankee 4 1. Are you going straight in? 
Stand by. Vegas 5-2 tower, clear runway when able. No, I'll uh, I'll go around again, try to pick you up on the downwind. Okay, I'm already on downwind. I'm about to turn left to my final. Okay. Yeah, this wasn't very pretty, but. Just reporting crash on taxiway F5, and uh, he's leaking, leaking fuel. He's burning. Roger, I'll inform emergency services. Yeah, just a correct team, he seems just to be leaking something. Sir, traffic, Vegas 5, keep clear at runway. Uh, yeah, we are uh, burning, as stated. Look, traffic, Yankee Phil one, clear of runway via Charlie. I'll taxi to our original spot. <laughs> All right, uh, and so like Yankee four two, uh, turning base to final. Yankee 42, tower, clear to land, runway 23, wind 255 at 10. 255 at 10, runway 23. Yankee 42. Uh, did you get wheels down? On short final, right? Okay, I'll leave you to it. Mr. Tower, Drift 3 has parked, requesting shutdown. Drifter Flight Tower, proceed as requested. Thank you for your service. See you. Wheels down. Perfect.
Uh, well, Yankee 4 fired. Uh, Yankee 4 1 request taxi to parking and shutdown. Yankee 4 1 tower, proceed as requested. Yankee 4 1. Insulic Tower Yankee 4 2 is clear active. Yankee 4 2. Let's shut down. Uh, thanks for the flight. It's great. Yeah, no, thanks. Great lead. Thank you. The ATs looked really good, though. Yeah, and the Apache videos, they have some pretty nice animations for those. Is he wanting to just like uh, jump off fall. so that he can get his tech view? Hey, guys. Hey! Hey! Are still hey. As always. I actually managed to bring an airplane back in one piece, which is, what, I think two for four for me now? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice well, flight today. Don't worry, I like... Uh, I, uh, we paid for the whole runway, so I used the whole runway. <laughs> I saw you land. You used every last inch, man. <laughs> Dude, I was really worried I was not going to be able to make it off at Delta at the end there. I thought I was I totally get, I, It under. was uncertain until... <laughs> yeah. Dorado and I over would the, uh, tarting pod, and I over would the, uh, fuel tank pylon, so we just went and parked it straight in the maintenance hangar. <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll, save you, we'll save you the tow truck trip, like, we'll just... <laughs> Yeah, oh my. the plane back, I'm sure I've had the same issue. I CCRP'd peed my bomb, so I hit four targets. Nice. No, oh, CCRP and the Viper is uh, amazeballs. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, very happy that we got that SA S300 offline, because I was a little bit worried there for a second that we weren't going to get it offline. Oh, yeah, the problem, nice. with the, SA, the problem with the S300 is it can engage six targets simultaneously. Yeah. So unless you really saturate it, you're not gonna get through. That's yeah, we, yeah. true, although it can't engage harms. We oh, would get it, can. <laughs> it can't when they're at terminal velocity. So like, when the when you fire yeah, them pre-briefed, uh, pre they get too fast for it to engage. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Is that um, you, in pre-brief mode, it passes through the window in which the vanilla SA10 can actually engage them too quickly. Speed is the key. It fixed that already. Uh, really? didn't they? I was uh, nice when I was practicing this mission, I I rippled four arms off in pre-brief mode. They all were diving down on the target, and it shot down all four of them. Like, <laughs> and they were they were descending vertically down onto the target. Yeah, I'm looking to attack you back it, right now. There was, there was a bug when pre-brief mode first came out that the S300 couldn't engage the harms coming down vertically on top, but now it it works again. Well, I mean, on the bright side, it wasn't flanked by a pair of SA15s. Yeah, yeah, that's like that would have been a little too OP for this mission. Set. That's. <laughs> um. Yeah. 
I'm watching the tacky back right now. Kutana drew so much triple A five for me. <laughs> can you uh can you guys uh throw the uh attack view up so we can do a a briefing real quick? I'm uploading it right now. Debriefing. Last ten minutes doesn't show, but that should be fine. Yeah, I'll if you just throw it into uh, mission discussion, that'd be awesome. Oh, so mission discussion. Go. I'll put it in. Or er, there's yeah. the attack view channel. Yeah, oh, yeah I'll I'll put it into both. Okay. Where is the tech view channel? Oh, uh, Benji, did you already throw it in the tech view? Yeah, I, I did it in both. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, okay, cool. All and right, the we'll picture above more. is what hums sometimes do. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'll start. I'll start streaming. Sorry, I'm moving fast. I just got to get to the airport pretty quick here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Also, nice job for Fox Three. That server worked really well today. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was smooth. I think it's just, you know, it's like DCS things. Things work really well unless they don't work at all. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's either it either works great or it's a massive cluster. Yeah. All right. So we'll go ahead and we will. Okay. People are taking oh, yeah. off. But I, I have a little debrief on the AWACS placement. Oh, okay. Go for it. Oh, yeah. So uh, you really didn't need to put them that close. Um Oh. The key thing is to have them at different angles to the target area. Oh, okay. I thought you told yeah, me that, that, was... that they were they needed to be seventy miles away. No, that's so. My point with that is that they can see hot targets from up two hundred miles away. They can see uh -oh. flanking and cold targets from seventy miles away. So okay. the way to deal with that is to have two different AWACSs looking in two different directions. Okay, Which cool. you sort of did here, but you could have had them flying over Turkey instead of, like, at the Syrian border. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, yeah, just FYI. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I thought, I guess I had misunderstood last week, and you had said, I was like, huh, that sounds like a weird DCS bug, but, you know. Um, no, it's not a bug. It's just radars. Yeah, it's gotcha. how radars work. All right. So we started our marshal. And... I definitely wasted a harm on a dead MIG, so we'll we'll be able to see that. Or not a harm, a uh, AMRAM. So there's a couple million bucks down the tube, or a couple hundred thousand bucks down the tubes. All right, so... That AMRAM probably costs more than our MIGs. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> the flak, man. Like, I am so, so happy that there's flak in DCS now, because without the flak, this mission would have been a lot more bland, I think. Is we started flying and right across the border, we already started getting engaged by this flak battery right here, which was kind of cool. So we basically decided that uh, that uh, the shooter flight would stay up high to launch their harms, and then gunslinger flight, we would just speed up down low and uh, hit the SA-10 site from terrain masking and hopefully get our harms a little bit closer to the S-300. You know, I've sort of been, I was used to be disappointed with the Flak 18 and how it plays into modern setting scenarios, but yeah, it kind of works as like a proximity fused version of the S60, if you use it as an analog for that. Yeah, and it like, and because it's a bigger caliber, it goes a lot further, so it's got a much higher range on it. So what I did for these Flak batteries is I put... Uh, like a ring of Flak 18s and two ZSU 57s, um, right, right on the Flak battery. So that way, it's got a long range component and a short range component, and it seemed to work pretty darn well. Like I was getting flak bursts everywhere I was flying in this mission. And what's then, your uh, sorry? What was the difficulty setting we were talking about that? For oh, the for flag? the flak, the flak yeah. setting is all on high. They're all they're all they're all high, so that way they will actually engage. Um, if they're any lower than high, I find you have to like kind of circle around the flak battery a little, kind of a little long to Wake get them, them to actually like start shooting at you. Yeah. All right. The skill level for the, any ground unit basically determines their reaction time and uh, their accuracy. Yeah. That's why you have to circle around because they're they're busy picking their noses, not not aware of your locate, not aware you're circling above them. Yeah. yeah, you can sort of mitigate it, I think, to some extent by placing like early warning radars in the group that are set to higher skill because they'll alert their their group members. Yeah, but I haven't played around with that a whole lot. 
Yeah, I was just worried. I, I do have a flak battery set up where I do have an EW radar associated with the flak, but then everybody's RWR would be saturated with a million S's and it would degrade server performance and whatnot to have all those radars running. But that, again, I, uh, You guys are all saying how the flak was thick enough to walk on, and I can now confirm via attack view that a flak shell set off my radar ultimate, my radar low altitude warning. <laughs> oh, wow. That's impressive. <laughs> That is a near miss if there has ever been one. So yep. at this point, in this point in the fight, the the MIGs spawned in as we crossed over the border into Syria itself, and um, Wiki in the AWACS as an outlaw called them out, and my flight ended up being the closest one, which I did not uh, intend for that. But I guess start should start flying seed more so that way I can shoot down more MIGs. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so with this engagement, I just want to say that, um, sorry to nickel flight, but the geometry for this engagement just didn't work out for you guys to be the ones to go in. Um, yeah. Gunslinger was really, the they were the ones in position. Yeah, Wedge was lamenting about that, but I mean, he did a good flight lead, so. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean... Yeah, and it looked like they were hot on us. Yeah, Nickel's just a little bit further away. I think it was like a yeah. a snap, like, hey, we got to get these guys down right now. Yeah, you guys were inside commit range when they popped up, so I really didn't have a choice but to commit you. Yeah. And then we fired a Fox 3. We fired these almost at the same time, and I saw Amram go whizzing over my left shoulder, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> And so that was kind of cool to see. And then I'm not sure where these AMRAMs went. So there's... Whoa. So that yeah, one so went like oh, a 9x yeah. endgame. Yeah, so okay, I... Guys, the next update, AMRAMs get INS. Yes. So I got... Wait, I guess that's... I got shot at. Wait, that's, that's a, a, that's that's a third. AMRAM. That's another AMRAM. <laughs> that's like two totally still to kill. Like kind of slow, Good slow, and then one just, snap, just snuck in under the. <laughs> there's two. So there's the first two. One from, one from me, and one from three there. Okay. It was one ton's last one. Okay, and so one ton's last ton. one just blew right in. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. this was like, who's who's Amram got the kill? I think it might have been mine because mine I fired from just a slightly closer range. Yep, it was mine. And then yeah. Wonton, <laughs> it's Wonton my kill. Got, Wonton got this guy that was close. So I was flying in, and I got worried about it because I realized that he shot at me. And then I realized, oh man, my radar is on the far guy, not the close guy. But thankfully, Wonton was there backing me up with that shot um, to get that close guy because I was really worried that I was going to get hit by a close range missile by this guy up here. So that was pretty pretty darn good engagement there not letting it devolve into a dog fight which is awesome and then it looks like pistol were you guys the ones who down these uh, mig 29s yep. yep yes no clue and, who got uh, i got credited with a kill but it looks like my amram hit a carcass but i took a i took a joker shot like a haha funny just to try to break them up i didn't cheap want anyone shot. dying so yeah cheap shot why is this showing sa5s this was an s300 site that's a that's an S three hundred missile. That's an fifty five R. Oh, okay. It says yeah, the missiles are labeled really weirdly. No, that's, that, yeah, in DCS they're labeled as SA five V fifty five. Okay. That's yeah, what the missiles labeled, actually called. Right? SA is just the NATO version, so like it wouldn't even yeah. be called that. Attack My cheap shot actually right? almost got him. Yeah. So I whose think. missile got him? Whoa. That's I don't know right. who's who is that. Oh, was that my cheap shot? Oh, out. so was... I stole my own kill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because I recommitted on that target at 10 miles, thinking, like, there was no way that missile hit. Because I fired yeah. it at, like, 25. Yeah. That air, I'm falling asleep at this point. It's going so slow. Uh, zoom. Look at that. Did you fire, fire right off? In? That's your first <laughs> one, Taker. Yeah, <laughs> that was my cheap shot. But no, yeah. like, watch, because I fire a second one at the same guy. He might have thought that he... I mean, I, I, so I go, I notch left. I thought he dodged it. So like I, hold on, yeah, I keep going right there. Is... I shoot again. Yep. That is a lot of sound missiles. I didn't yeah. see you hit the on your radar there, Saker. 
Uh, yeah, it was not a very aggressive uh, crank, I, I have well, to admit. Well, the, if you never hit gimbals, then it wasn't a cheap shot. <laughs> oh. Because like, your yeah, radar no. was on him the whole time. <laughs> oh, that, true. That, that Amram this was big. defeated because it's splashing oh, into the water. Oh, good dodge. Yeah, this oh, that dodged one. his Amram because he got it to lead into the water. That's crazy. Wow, that yeah. guy got low. <laughs> maybe I, I oh should... God, AI are crazy at how low they can get. Wow. Maybe, maybe I should do that in Impressive. PvP. Leading I think that's into the, the guy water. that I went back after he went cold. I shot a... Yeah, uh, he burned all his fuel doing that. I think he shot a missile at me or something. It was unfortunately right around this point in the oh, fight okay. that my lot ATC crashed and I had to reload it. Oh no. Aww. Okay, so Kravitz got it. Oh man. He oh. Oh. That's still chasing you? Wow. It's that still was chasing. Lucky. It's yeah, still it chasing. Wasn't it wasn't done. <laughs> it's still chasing. It's still not oh, done. <laughs> Never before have I seen a missile stall out in the vertical like that. Yeah, so. At this point, I was over here engaging the S300, and I was like, oh, wait, on Data Link, there's a guy inside a giant furball here. But I guess he disappeared pretty shortly afterwards, so I guess somebody got him. He goes, yeah, that was Whoa. another. Uh, oh, Dorado. Someone's getting one of, yeah. Someone's okay, getting I was chased. actually just locking him up at the time, and then it's like I saw the black smoke trail in his, in his altitude number decreasing, so it's oh. like, okay, he's done. Yeah. Meanwhile, me like in the background, like, like panicking eight. about dodging an SA2, forgetting that <laughs> I could just simply notch them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Wait, you can see me. So, no, oh. just keep playing it forward. Keep playing it forward. In the background, you can just see me, like. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> so, say, so then, say, oh, wow, they got close, dude. Yeah. So, so say, I have to I ask, them. do you remember hearing either my initial targeting call out to you or my merged call out to you i heard the merged one i heard the merge as well i saw it on don link I, as well by, by that point um dorado and clockwork were saying they were committed on that mig and i saw him on data link so i was like because they were also calling out like at like sam launches and stuff so i was like i'm gonna go air to ground and try to shut these guys up what is this? okay and you guys can handle the mig but Oh. Yeah, when you called merge, that's actually when I did right before the it was right before the SA2 shot at me. So you see me break left right before the SA2 shoots and dump some flares. Is this a decent? Because I'm issue? looking for the target. I think so. Crevice. Did Crevice get hit by the SA2 here? Because he yeah, yeah yeah he said he got hit by an SA2. No, uh, that's not that's that's a deep Syrian deep technology. Yeah. Yeah, warp Mig, drive. I think Mig ran out of gas and he was trying to bug out. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to go home, but no, we were having none of that. <laughs> he comes oh, down, yeah. man. Russian man. Yeah, I was like, nope, he got down two of our guys. He well, let's see how many AMRAMs this, or sorry, I keep doing that. How arms. many harms that that SA-10 ended up stopping? Yeah, so let's yeah, see Yeah, because it, it went all Macross Missile Massacre. Dude, I was, I was kept popping over this ridge right here. Like with all these flak batteries shooting at me, and I was like, "Hey, look! Like five SA-10 shots. Okay, I'm going back down below the ridge." And then I pop up again. I'm like, "Oh, look, more SA-10 shots!" And then finally, someone just silenced it, which was great. Yeah, we we salvoed like everything uh, at it. Yeah. So let's see. So you should play that like montage music. That's like da 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 da. Wow. So that yeah. SA-10 was wow. He's shooting going at harm. Space, space. And Jeez. us. And, yeah. I can't see it correctly. Like, we need to go up or something. Interesting view. Oh, yeah. Under yeah. the world. Yeah. Oh, Holy that crap. one. That one it made it. missed everything. It tried. What was that? It oh, tried. It hit something. So these, missed, these, these two missiles were coming up at it. Did it Lucky go shot. down? Didn't they try and track down? I'd say that's more luck. I think that one is a little bit on the lucky side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the distance between the two of them? At between its the closest. At the closest. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? So got the I think it's control right click. Control right click. Oh. Yeah. Control. Yeah, right and then you can <laughs> slow it down, and then do use the arrow keys. Slow it down, and this is this is kind of the performance I would expect out of the vanilla SA10, to be honest. Oh, really? No, good. press left click and then right click. You select left click with left field and right click with right field. Uh, left no. control, right click. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left control, right click. Okay, yeah, and then double click on the missile. Then double click on the missile. Okay. On the blue one. On the blue one. Oh, now okay. they're both there selected. And if go. you go to slow mo and then use the right arrow key, you'll slow. You can. Oh, the ranging went away. What the hell? Oh, it's because it's. It went. It dis. Uh, frame by frame. You can if you put arrow key down, you can like go slow mo. I mean, they got. And then and then you can yeah. Twenty five feet. Twenty five feet. Yeah. And they have proximity they fuses. Right? They do feet. have they do have proximity fuses, but the caveat there is that because of desync in oh, DCS, no. you it's the proxies is clients, don't necessarily work. No, it's not that. The clients don't necessarily see the correct range between the missile and the target. Only the server can see it. Oh. Interesting. Cool. What is wow. the tick rate of the server? Is it like thirty MS or sixty MS per sec per uh, ticking? That know. one dodged so many missiles coming down. I think yeah. that's more of an issue with DCS itself than the server, though. Yay! Got him. Boop. Now, so that that was only the tracking radar. What was that? The big bird, or or it's not a. Some that's a launcher. Radar. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. They all they're all oh, the same. One of the two search radars. For yeah. sites. So then here comes shooter, or sorry, uh, gunslinger to save the day with our arms. <laughs> uh, if it's still firing, then that was most likely a search radar that yeah. was destroyed. So we we came through here through this valley where I placed all these all this flak because I was like I was wanted to keep people from going too far to the east, and then I just like went right into the valley chasing these these literally pigs. the valley of death. Yeah, and then I was just like, hey, I'm in my valley, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting shot at by everything, <laughs> and then Stay we kind on of target. Does the flag show up in Tafi? Yeah, it's the little, little yellow marks. All right. Oh yeah, the 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 flak is all the the yellow bullets flying around. Right. And then Jeez. we pull up, fire harms. Let's see what happened. Did my harm do it, or did it, it did it get exploded? Whoa, my harm just decided to not do anything, but this harm <laughs> hit it. Did Yeti take it out? Yeah, I got the SA-10. Nice, good shot. Nice. I think, I think that I think at this point it was saturated by too many targets, or something. Yeah, had run out. It probably expended a ton of its uh, missiles as well because it was shooting yeah. at everybody. Yeah. Nice. That was cool. Shooter kept then... it distracted and drained their ammo for you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's what it, that's that's the idea, right? And then uh, pistol flight here. They're Super just uh, eat a SA two because he got too close. Here I go. Who's who's eats an SA two? Clockwork six three. Got it. Whoa! Your harm just like decided to go to space and mm. fly and fly to rack. <laughs> I, I got one harm kill on something, but I don't think it was that one. Boom! Boom! Oh, SA two right there. Yep, way too close. Didn't dump bags. That. Yeah. <laughs> no countermeasures. Oh, at the end, too late. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just got. Yeah, I close. think that's when I like frantically called out, like Sam launch. I was like, oh yeah, he's right. There is a Sam. Oh fuck, that's really boom. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized how far out I set up my marshal. And then... I go in, like, people are complaining about an SA-8. I'm like, all right, fuck that SA-8. Like, boom, right there. <laughs> Knock him out. I yeah. think that's the last. Or that SA-2 um, might be out of missiles then, Oh, too. my gosh. Look at all this flak. That's yeah. crazy. So we were oh, still yeah. flying around, like, trying Ooh. to distract the flak batteries. And yeah. in a little bit, you'll see me, like, over the south side of it, um, take a take a flak round to the belly. And it's like, at that moment, that's when my... Uh, low altitude alert went off and i was like what the fuck <laughs> and then i yeah. see something whiz by my cockpit i'm like all right i'm going home <laughs> I was gonna say, you can check out how much flack the uh the mig 21s ended up taking in on on our uh oh, run in. Got, katana got turned into some oh. keys right here katana you took up you, you drew so much fire away from oh, yeah. my 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 flight <laughs> Yep, just I pretty much wild just dropped weaseling. back to flat, put it in burner, yeah. and just kept moving the stick around. 
I think <laughs> that uh, I think that Sedlo dropped his bombs on the helicopter dispersal area, and then... there was three bombers in that area. I was watching in uh, spectator mode. Oh, okay, and then these guys here came around. Ooh, someone got shot down. Sandman just totally ate it from the AAA. Oof. Yep. At this point, I don't yeah. even think. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. Stick man got it too. How, how, no, no, six, that's uh, he was so dropping. Good. Yeah, he was dropping slick bombs from 400, 300 feet. Oh, geez. that's that's <laughs> yeah, not that'll... a good idea. Yeah, that'll that, do it. Oh, that that must Bridge have been a negative air kill that we saw. And yeah. then, and then Basher Bounders boy. Got that it is an well. that that is an aggressive dive. Yeah. With slicks. The clouds are at like twenty five. Yeah, the the ground comes up really quickly, especially in that one. I like how okay, my, so my flight one over here. Yeah, if you back us up a little bit to our initial run in, it. Uh, I mean, you could see how much. Uh, you get hit at all. In there. Uh, yeah, I took a couple hits, and then uh, 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 Glitzy sadly. Uh, took one of the SA-8s, and that's how we found out that it was there, because, of course, you know, we have a SPO, and... Yeah. No situation. There's a radar there. somewhere. Didn't yeah, ask. Pretty much. <laughs> right. I think about that time is when you guys called in, if you had any extra, is when I was hanging on to mine, then that SA-8 was called, and I came in for my run. Oh, Glitzy's... Um, Glitzy was going in for some flak suppression with his yeah. own gun. Yeah. He <laughs> some stuff, so. And he also got hit himself. Yeah, I got one. I um, I got, I got my. I always do this in the Mig Twenty One. I can never remember which weapons are the gun trigger and which weapons are the um, the weapon release, the bomb release. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So I fired them. I pressed them both. Oh and... no! Yeah, you turned right into that SA8, and it just launched right yeah. at you. We didn't realize it was still alive. The yeah. funny part is, I don't even think that's the SA8 I killed later on. Oh no, you killed that one. Yep. yep. I uh, I was running in for a gun run on that one, and you like I just noped out of there. Well, record for shortest range rocket shot to hit that target. That is, is a very <laughs> twenty one. Uh, like just, like <laughs> put the nose of the rocket pods to the target and pull the trigger. Right. It's like a joust, right? You just stab it with your wingtip. <laughs> yeah. What do you think that sticks for? It's not a pedo. It's not a pedo tube. High alpha rocket shot. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the pedo tube on the twenty ones for. It's actually yep. it's actually just a fence <laughs> up. It's for, it's for spearing B fifty twos. I think oh, only oops. now my flight started to four push. Seven four sevens. We Yankee flight. We pushed extremely late because I didn't want to get ahead of everyone like last mission. So what's what's going on you here? You think so... you guys were late? Wait until you see uh, the F fives. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm looking at the F fives right now. Not, uh, <laughs> you're not yet. Yeah. We're trying to debate looking for additional SAM sites, or if uh, if we should just start yeah, focusing we down the run. flak. Yeah, and... we we ended up doing another run on a on a flak battery, and uh, Buckaroo took uh, some serious damage that eventually killed his engine, but he was able to make it well outside of enemy airspace. Yeah, and at this point. Gunslinger flight because Saker had taken pistol flight home. We came in and we started taking up the flak around Latakia there. Oh, yeah. So Buckaroo comes around for another shot. Yep. Oh, so oh, sorry. In the background, that's where that's where I get uh, hit by. Uh, so my art, my uh, low altitude radar goes off. Right here. Uh, if you back it up like just a little bit. Uh, Back it up, back it up, back it up. Right, oh, yeah, so like, uh, yeah, right there. So I'm just flying around, like, minding my own business, and then low altitude alert. I'm like, what the fuck? And then another shot, like, goes right past my canopy. I'm like, all right, I don't know what that was. I'm going home. Here, have some flares. <laughs> I'm going home. Do, the f do flares or chaff yeah. even foil the flak? No. I thought it was a man pad, because I literally no. saw, like, an object, like a dark object go past my canopy. Like, yeah, I thought it was a you missile. Could, you can well, see the Flak 18 use... shells. Yeah, the 88mm Flak shells are huge. Yeah, I you don't can know. definitely I see didn't those get hit. Right past you. So Buck... Imagine if ED finally adds those 100mm uh, Flak cannons that the Russians oh, are using. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Are those the ones that? Uh, those are the KS 19s, right? That's yeah, the, the KS 19s. Yeah. Syria yeah. has them in their arsenal, in real life. Yeah. German sure. uh, German super heavy flak from World War II was 128 millimeters. Awesome. They actually little... they mounted those guns in twin mountings as well. That was by the bad decision. Yeah, run I mean, oh, Lord. like both American and Russian uh, have super heavy flat batteries existed in the 1950s with 127 millimeter guns, Ooh. but they were uh, made totally obsolete by the introduction of surface to air missiles. Yep. Hey, Buckaroo, is your aircraft damaged at this point? Because you no, that's just how yeah, Mig 21 flies. <laughs> No, I was wondering if that was how they I've handle run, low I've speed. Been a lot. That's just the wobbly low speed. Or jeez, uh, <laughs> like uh, wobble. The elevator had, my elevator was pretty shredded. He had a little uh, wobble in his walk. It's like <laughs> these big twenty ones are like, like I don't know why you guys are flying so high. We're just down down here avoiding flak by flying between buildings. <laughs> I think. I think. Man, oh yeah, that I'm sounds like the attack profile of another airplane that I know. One. Hmm. I think I'm overhead oh, right now. Yeah, I'm overhead oh, right yeah. now. I got hit oh, like three or four different flight. times. It seems like the hits are always like not these giant streams of bullets coming up, but but like these random like sniper shots. Like, see, so Cortana yeah. got hit by one shot right from yeah. that guy. I think all of the so, hits that I took were um, were indirect from Flak 18s. So, like, I heard them hit, um, but it didn't really like it was not a game ender kind of thing yeah oh god i i'm just looking now i think we're that. egressing at that point so yeah can... okay Vegas so, flight oh, really did go over latakia with nobody else there <laughs> yeah so Vegas flight's just like hey guys are we late to the party <laughs> okay yeah, you in guys our came defense, in so in late <laughs> defense, we had to maintain 10 degrees nose up just to be at angels 15 <laughs> really <laughs> Can yeah, you just tell a like unable? <laughs> and then they're coming in. Wow, that's a lot of flack. Oh yeah, I thought I was taking a lot of flack, just going straight in, like. And then his bombs. I I I was pulling positive G in like a left hand turn when I dropped those. So they yeah, they're just gonna go down. wherever. Hit the buildings. And you took out the dock the dock workers, so yeah. uh, there might be some like sailors in that building. I mean it'll still slow down productivity. Uh, Hots and yeah. souls. <laughs> and this guy I think Tau oh, hit one of the submarines. Oh that's it good. Looks yeah, like... good Ooh, that yeah. Nice. Yeah, that definitely hit submarine. Nice. Yeah, and that sub's not going anywhere. Yeah. Five no. two was having radio problems so he wasn't with us and there there he is <laughs> hero coming in <laughs> Man, I dove in there. wow that is that is like, quite I, no, I, I went in three times <laughs> because i couldn't get the fucking bombs off and i was like oh hey my jettison switch still on <laughs> oh yeah that'll do it that, that is a dive worthy of an sbd from world war ii oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. give yeah. us mosquitoes I was lit up by flag. <laughs> Ryfly is like just getting hit by flak everywhere. Oh, I, yeah, I got killed. I got, I got killed down. there. Unfortunately. And I then see his parachute. Oh, boom. Yeah. Damn. Who Tragic. died? That was uh, close. Vegas 5 3. You can see his parachute there. He died to flak. Did he get shot by the flak in the parachute? Where? Probably. Yep. 5 3. <laughs> I see five, one, five, two. Yeah, oh, I there he is, the towel. There he is, yep. Oh, hey, Spud Knocker, mission making question. I tried for... to hide in the mountains, but then. Uh... That's yeah, not the nonsense. Those... Were those. I mean, in the clouds. Units the clouds. That's, that say that they were static. Were they actually static? Uh, the ships like... were. Okay, how did you yeah. get them to show up in TAC View? I. Statics will show up. It. Statics will show oh, up okay. in TAC View. Yeah. Um. Static ground units will not show up in tack view. I guess By ships way, might. Maybe I think ships, ships do. do. Yeah. Oh, okay. That I'm looking at... By the way, those ships, they look green. Like, they were missing texture for me. Is that normal? Really? I'm... Mm, I'm... Um, it's probably gonna be client side. Integrity check time. I, I'm was looking at... Was it just me or were those ships you? at us German? <laughs> What's that? The, the, lock the, the ships shooting at us were German. They very well might have been. 
there. Uh, I looked on it afterwards. They had German flags equipped with Italian naval guns, <laughs> Swedish multiculturalism guns, and harpoon launchers. <laughs> yeah, they're um they're patrol boats that that were built in the um like the seventies, I want to say, and the Germans sold them to uh, all kinds of countries in the Middle East, like uh, Syria bought a bunch of them, Egypt bought a bunch of them, as well as Iran. So I thought the French built them, but like it was some weird like conglomeration deal like they seem to do on a lot of their weapon systems they could very well <laughs> you're a fighter <laughs> yeah well yeah exactly uh, I, like so this is a good view just like okay if the flak gunners are just chilling they're having a sandwich and then comes down it's like oh wait <laughs> i've got work to do <laughs> I, have, I have it i have it in this i uh, stream it in so i can see the, how it looked like from the cockpit um, the, the, the F5 flight is literally like, hey guys, what is going on in this thread? I'm, <laughs> God. I'm, uh, That's I'm, so much flak. It's crazy. What I'm is shooting? Are the flak 18s actually shooting? Yeah, well, yeah, everything. Uh, the yeah, yeah, in... everything. everything <laughs> tracers, tracers everywhere. Jeez. Oh, that's interesting that the ZSU 57s. Oh, no, they are. They're oh, shooting. They, just have, they just have the Zeus model intact view. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm looking at Yankees Ingress. You spun up, you took so much you drew so much fire for us when we were coming in, like four minutes th four hours thirteen. We're just going straight in. I didn't turn at any point, I just went straight. Yeah. <laughs> Drop bombs just out. Yeah. Surprised no. you didn't get hit by anything. I know. And then boom. It's like small twitches. Wow, you sure you wow, wow you yeah. uh Wow, that, you... That's CCRP. Yeah. Wow. Vi <laughs> Viper CCRP is yeah. just... is gravy. It's My so targeting pole was looking wow. right in the middle of it. That's awesome. It, yeah. It finally went CB 1 of 5s. Alrighty, guys. Unfortunately, I gotta run. But thanks so much for um, flying today, and thanks to Wiki and Fractal for the awesome GCI and ATC support. That was great. And um, thanks, guys. That was a ton of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, been a blast. Awesome. As thanks, always. Yeah. Unfortunately, guys, unfortunately, guys, there's going to be no mission next weekend, but hopefully we'll get one going on the next one after that. And uh, yeah, just keep your eyes out for the announcement, and we'll get it going. Uh, cool. so I've got a, Dude, I, have a good one, uh, Skipper. Thought of this idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh,